All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do an, another supply practice problem here. So we're going to graph and verbally describe what would happen to the supply of solar panels if the government, let's say the U.S. government, uh, subsidized their production and why. So the first thing we go ahead and do is we go ahead and draw our axes. We have our y-axis. We'll label that P for price. Um, our um, x-axis, we're going to go ahead and label Q for quantity and... Um, we're looking at the market for solar panels, so that's going to be the quantity of, we'll call it panels. Okay. Um, then we have to go ahead and um, give our determinant. Actually, before that, we need to do our supply curve, don't we? So we're going to go ahead and draw our supply curve. We'll go ahead and call that S. That is our original supply curve. And then we have to go ahead and give our determinant. Um, so you can see right here um, that the government is taking action here. So we have the G in nice jag, which is government action. I'm going to abbreviate that, government action. So we have our supply curve that is upward sloping as we go left to right. So the government is subsidizing the production of solar panels which means um, that they are basically paying companies to make solar panels. So that's going to increase supply. That's going to shift it to the right. So we'll go ahead and draw a little arrow here for our, our uh, showing that our supply curve is shifting to the right. We draw our new supply curve. And we're going to go ahead and call that S1 in order to differentiate from our original supply curve, which we call S. So this has everything I'm looking for. We have price on our y-axis, quantity on our x, we've labeled our market, we've, ta uh, we've talked about the determinant, we have our original supply curve, we shifted to the right, and then we labeled that S1. All right. 